Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Bile solubility test. Identification of streptococcus pneumonia. Procedure and interpretation. Table of contents. What is bile solubility test? Objectives. Principle. Media, reagents, and supplies used. Procedure of bile solubility test. Result interpretation. Uses. Limitations. What is bile solubility test? The bile solubility test is, is a biochemical test used to differentiate and confirm streptococcus pneumonia from other alpha hemolytic streptococci. It is an essential test for distinguishing S. pneumoniae from streptococcus pseudopneumoniae, which is otherwise challenging. The test works by lysing bacterial cells in the presence of bile salts, such as sodium desoxycholate, under specific conditions. Organisms that lyse are considered positive, while those that do not are considered negative. The exact mechanism of the test is not clearly understood, but it is hypothesized that lysis occurs due to the induction of autolytic enzymes. The bile solubility test is recognized as an accurate method for differentiating S. pneumonia from other mitis group streptococci, including S. pseudopneumoniae. The test results can be difficult to interpret due to their reliance on subjective human evaluation. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Objectives of Bile Solubility Test To identify and differentiate streptococcus pneumonia from other alpha hemolytic streptococci, to detect the ability of an organism to undergo lysis in the presence of bile salts. Principle of Bile Solubility Test The bile solubility test is used to identify and distinguish streptococcus pneumoniae from alpha hemolytic streptococcus SPP. The test can be performed using a cell suspension on a slide, in a tube, or by adding the reagent directly to the colony. The test is based on the lysis of pneumococcal cells when sodium desoxycholate, also known as bile salts, is applied under specific time and temperature conditions, while other streptococci do not lyse. Streptococcus pneumonia possesses an intracellular autolytic enzyme, an amidase, which causes the organism to undergo rapid autolysis when grown on an artificial medium. Bile salts alter the surface tension of the medium and cause cell membrane rearrangement. The exact working mechanism of the test is not clearly understood, but it is hypothesized that bile salts activate the autolytic enzyme, leading to lysis of pneumococcal cells. Microorganisms tested. Any alpha hemolytic catalase negative, gram positive coxy in chains with a central depression, flattened center, or mucoid colony morphology suggestive of S. pneumoniae. Any gram positive coxy in lancet shaped pairs from a positive blood culture. Media, reagents, and supplies used. Reagents. First bile salts. A 10% bile salt solution can be purchased or prepared by dissolving 10 grams of sodium disoxycholate in 100 milliliters of distilled water. The solution should be dispensed in small amounts to minimize contamination. The shelf life of the solution is 270 days. Storage temperature, 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. Cold storage may cause thickening of the reagent. 2.85% sodium chloride, sterilized. Third broth culture medium, e.g. BHI. Supplies, loops, test tubes or slide, pipettes. Procedure of bile solubility test. 
Bile solubility test can be performed using the test tube method, direct plate method, or direct slide blood culture method. Test tube method. Dispense 0.5 milliliters of sterile saline or suitable broth into a small test tube. Prepare a heavy suspension of the organism in saline, equivalent to number one McFarlane standard. Shake the suspension manually or using a vortex mixer to ensure uniformity. Divide the suspension into two tubes labeled test and control. Add two to five drops of bile reagent into both tubes and gently mix. Incubate at 35 degrees Celsius for three hours, checking hourly for clearing. Alternatively, use gram stain or methylene blue wet mount to check for lysis of cells every 15 minutes. Direct plate method. Place one drop of bile reagent near a suspected 18 to 24 hour colony. Gently roll the drop over several representative colonies without dislodging them. Do not touch the agar surface with the dropper tip. Incubate the plate right side up at 35 degrees Celsius for 15 to 30 minutes or until the drop evaporates. A heat block can be used instead of an incubator. Observe flattening of the colony carefully to distinguish from floating away. Direct slide blood culture test. Mix one drop of blood culture broth with one drop of bile reagent on a glass slide and allow it to dry. As a control, mix one drop of blood culture broth with one drop of water and allow it to dry. Gram stain the suspension and examine for coxie. Quality control. Use two organisms as positive and negative controls. For quality control of the bile solubility test, two control organisms are used. Streptococcus pneumonia is incubated aerobically for 24 to 48 hours at 33 to 37 degrees Celsius. After the addition of bile reagent, the colonies dissolve within approximately 30 minutes, confirming a positive result. Streptococcus mutans is also incubated aerobically under the same conditions. However, after the addition of bile reagent, the colonies remain intact even after 30 minutes, confirming a negative result. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Result Interpretation of Bile Solubility Test Test Tube Method a positive result is indicated by clearing or loss of turbidity in the test tube compared to the control within three hours. Microscopically, lysis of cells confirms bile solubility. Direct slide blood culture method. If all coxie in the smear are completely lysed, while the control smear retains intact bacteria, the organism is bile soluble. Positive result. Direct plate method. A positive result appears as disintegration or flattening of the colony within 30 minutes, leaving a clear area of alpha hemolysis where the colony was. A negative result occurs when the colony remains intact without any visible changes within 30 minutes. Reporting results. If either the spot or tube test confirms bile solubility in an alpha hemolytic, catalyst negative, gram positive, lancet shaped caucus, it should be definitively reported as streptococcus pneumonia. If bile solubility is not observed, the organism is likely a viridens group streptococcus. However, since a small percentage of bile resistant strains may still be S pneumonia, Further testing is recommended for typical pneumococcal colonies. Uses of bile solubility test. Determines an organism's ability to undergo lysis in the presence of bile salts. Differentiates and identifies streptococcus pneumonia from other alpha hemolytic streptococci. Serves as a qualitative test to distinguish between bile soluble and bile insoluble organisms. Limitations of bile solubility test. 
some S. pneumonia strains may not lyse in bile due to the loss of virulence factors, or capsule. In such cases, further identification methods like optican susceptibility, DNA probe, or MALDE TOF should be used. The test is only applicable for differentiating S. pneumoniae from other alpha hemolytic streptococci. For greater specificity, tube test positive but spot test negative strains should be confirmed using optican disc test, DNA probe, or MALDI-TOF. High bile salt concentrations may inhibit the normal autolysis of S. pneumonia. Evaporation can cause the reagent to become more concentrated, leading to incorrect results. The test is not reliable for old cultures that have already undergone autolysis. When using the tube test, the pH of saline or unbuffered broth must be neutralized before adding the reagent to avoid false negative results. In the plate method, improper technique may dislodge the colony, leading to false positive results. If the results are unclear, the test should be repeated using the tube or slide method. Cold storage of the reagent may cause it to thicken. Before use, it should be warmed in a 37 degrees Celsius incubator to, to restore its liquidity. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.